Okay, you guys. Uh, welcome to the way we see it is episode two, and today we have me, Luis Carlos, Janet, and our special guest Diana. And the topics of today are going to be basically what's been going in the news lately: um, cheaters. The beginning with Arnold Schwarzenegger, we haven't talked about him, and he got caught with the mistress. Well, he admitted actually he didn't get caught. He confessed to Maria after he stepped out of governor that he had a kid with the housekeeper. So he brought it up? He actually confessed to her. And Maria ended up um, leaving him, asking for divorce, and they're divorcing right now. And so it's kind of interesting because I would think, because there were reports of him like groping other women when they were married before he even ran for governor. And allegedly he would have like security, like bring the girls up to his hotel room. And so someone like Maria Shriver, you would think she's, I mean, she used to be a reporter, you know? Right. You'd think she had an inkling that, okay, maybe. Well, that's what I heard. Um, I guess it was the lady, the mistress, did like an interview for a Spanish magazine named Hola. And I guess apparently Maria would ask her, is there something you want to tell me? Is there something you want to tell serious? me? Yeah. And, you know, she wouldn't say it until like last year, I guess she finally. Because they noticed that he was crying. looking a lot like yeah. Hola, right? The kid. Yes. You know, she broke down crying and so finally like went back. So it seems like she made it seem like Maria knew from like years, and she finally is filing for divorce now. But it seems like she knew. But no, also, I also read an uh, interview. Wait, wait, so Maria she, knew. Maria asked. The, I think she had a meeting. Yeah. I think yeah. you know she that. She was asked as for the woman, whatever her name is. As for her, she finally broke down a year ago and told mm -hmm. her the truth oh. that yeah, this is. You know. Yeah, because she says that Morgan gave her a hug and something like that. Another yeah. interview that she hugged the mistress and told her to stop crying because she was on her knees. Yeah. Asking um, for forgiveness. Yeah. So and Maria was really compassionate because she let her stay mm -hmm. in the house. And the other scandal that broke down was Wienergate. He was texting pictures to this girl on Twitter, like half naked mm -hmm. pictures. And there's pictures that were circulating of him actually fully nude. And so the wife is a few weeks pregnant or mm -hmm. like a month pregnant or something like that. And he didn't want to resign. He felt, you know, it was. What do you mean? Like, I don't know. He was trying to make like the victim. Like, first, the first week he was saying, I don't know if it was, it was my pictures, and you know, maybe I got hacked, my account got hacked, because he was trying to claim. Yeah, so he's denied. Knowing very well that he was the one sending those pictures, nobody got hacked. So, who was he sending these pictures to? Like, like he was had a relationship with several girls online through Twitter or oh. like something like that. And so, I remember hearing like some people think some guys do that because they don't feel like they're really cheating having that type of relationship, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not actual. That they're gonna meet a person. Yeah, it's almost like a fantasy world. Remember, it's all taboo where the guy yeah. has a fantasy wife online. And so he ended up getting caught, and a lot of people were like, well, it's not of his job. Like, even you had that opinion. Mm -hmm. It's not his, it doesn't have to do anything with his job. Yeah, like, I didn't think it, it was just because he did that, I didn't think he had to resign. Like, I. But you could also see, like, oh, well, you know, put, I guess kind of changing the subject, how you were saying taboo, how it's cheating. But it could also be, if it's consensual, it could also be like swingers. You know what I mean? Oh, the wife was into it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if she's not, then yeah, it's totally cheating. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that wasn't enough. But like I said, I think the reason he had to resign was because he was not upfront about it. You know? Right, yeah. yeah. You know? And that's going to be, like, I mean, that's so common, whether you're a politician, whether you're famous or whatever. Like, I think rare is a man that actually cheats, and when he's confronted, and says, yes, I did cheat. Yeah. Sure, like in that case, like no upfront, and if the right. woman wants to get into that relationship, then she'll get into it. Okay, now, okay, if a woman like say Kim Kardashian is gonna get married with a baseball player? No, he's a football player. He's a football? Yeah. I thought he was baseball. No, basketball. Basketball, yeah, basketball. But basketball. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's she's I mean, been through them all. <laughs> she's been through them all. But the thing is, I mean, you don't need to be told when you're gonna get with an athlete or a celebrity. You're gonna get cheated you, on. You're gonna get cheated on. You're yes. a normal non-celebrity type uh -huh. of couples. Like the family and friends we know, the majority have cheated on, on their wives. Or either the wife on the man and the man. Or yeah. well, just one case with the wife cheating on the man. Yeah. We know but of. I mean, you know. But they cheat. Yeah. And, but you know what's funny though? They don't get divorced. They don't. They might separate mm -hmm. for a little while, but like cheating apparently is not it's the factor. It's too much work and it costs money. <laughs> but you hear about what, like 60% of people getting divorced? Yeah. Like, like, why are they getting divorced if it's not cheating? You know, what is it behind right. the, the, the aspect that it's not cheating? I think now it's financial. Yeah. Yeah, they always say that. Non finances is They say the money is a main problem for divorce. And also talking about um, people almost getting married, about Hugh Hefner and the wife, or Hugh Hefner and the 25 year old, the runaway bride. 
Yeah, she was. His great great granddaughter, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and so I gotta ask, why do you think he, at that age do you want to get married? I mean, he's been married before. He had these three girlfriends, and then another three girlfriends. I think that was a publicity stunt. I don't think he wanted to get married. On both sides, for her to get a reality yeah, show, obviously. for him to sell magazines. That's what it sounds like. And I guess now she's trying to be like a singer in her singles on iTunes. So really? I think that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's anything See, behind that. Now, what do you think of these guys or, or politicians? What I find interesting about politician cheating, why do you think they cheat? What is it that is pushing them? Or is it a lack of sex? Is it a lack of, of companionship? Is it just because people are going after them? Or I think it's just the same reason like every other person cheats. Like, I think just because, you know, that's, that's why I was saying earlier, like, I don't think he should have resigned just because he was doing that. Because regardless of his position, regardless of his job, career, whatever, He's still a man. He's still a human being. You know what I mean? And how many human beings do we know? Whether people have jobs or don't have jobs or whether they're, you know, like teenagers or old people. Like, people always cheat. You know what I mean? Like, there's, you always hear stories of people cheating. Right. Do you so just think because they're a politician doesn't mean, oh my God, they're not going to cheat. It's true. They're never going to cheat. Career. Yeah. Do like, you think there is a way to prevent cheating in a relationship from... from I think you're only responsible for your own actions. You know what I mean? Like, me, like for saying, like, me, I'm married. I know that. I'm responsible for my own actions. I can't, you know, I can hope and, you know, I'm, you know, confident that Manuel wouldn't cheat on me, but I know in the back of my head that it is a possibility. Just because I'm married to him, I'm not going to say, oh, Manuel will never cheat on me. I can swear by it because I don't know. I can't, I'm not there with him 24-7. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, everybody's responsible for their own actions. You but do you I mean? think there is something that pushes people to cheat? Like, no, what I do you think will push a, you to cheat? Just, I mean, is it that the, the, the you I find somebody just, hot and like, oh. No, I think it's just no. the opportunity. The opportunity presents itself and some people are just too weak I think so to too. Walk I away think it's the opportunity and thinking they're not going to get caught. Yep, That's what yes. I think is the main thing. They're not yep. going to get caught. It's just something cheating. that's so easy and a lot of people. Yeah. But do you, do you consider kissing cheating? Yes. yes. Not just caught? Because there's a difference between crossing a line because who was it? I think Wienergate, he said, or... Mm. No, the other one, the other one said that I crossed the line many times with women, but I never cheated, or I never went that far. Yeah. So some people think, oh, it's crossing the line, we made out, we kissed, we talked, we joked, we flirted, yeah. but we didn't get in bed. No, genitalia was touching, you know yeah. what I mean? I think it depends on the couple. Like, yes. some couples, you know, me personally, I would consider that cheating. I would even consider, you know, a message flirting with somebody cheating when you're hiding it like behind uh -huh. somebody's back yeah. i think that's that's cheating i think there's a difference between inappropriate and then cheating and basically and do you do you girls feel you can recover from cheating like knock on wood yes yeah. like me and manuel when we first started dating like we set like our like Good. we had that you had your boundaries. we said that yeah. we said we had that discussion we said you know what if you wouldn't like me doing this i don't want you to do this to me this is what i consider cheating and I told him, anything like that you do behind my back that you are hiding from me, like, that's going to be a problem right there and then. Whether, whatever it is, but you're trying to hide something from me, that's going to be cheating. And a lot of guys do that. They hide, you know, they're flirting with whoever. What do you think many of the wives stay with the man after they cheat? I think it's like, um, how do they call it? Do you think it? cheating is somebody that can be, um, it depends worked on the over? Person. I think it, it depends, depends the because I feel like if the other person is willing to try and make an effort to whatever it is whether it's not let it happen again or talk about it or make it you know the genuinely yeah you know sorry, i think or... forgiveness is made up of ignorance we have to ignore the past and have hope hope that it won't happen again yeah, yeah. because forgiveness is very hard to come across because a lot of people cannot forget mm -hmm. it yeah. and they, they use it against you it's like yep. i admire those people that stay together after yeah. they cheat. It's like, and it also I, depends like how much love you have for that other person yeah and if you're going to be happy in that relationship, yeah. because you can if easily be like, oh yeah, I forgive him, we're going to try to make it work. But if it's always going to be in the back of your head, head then you're not going to be not happy in that relationship. No. Yeah. Okay, well, this was reviews on um, cheating and these politicians these days, so you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.